guys, welcome to my first video. First of all, who am I? I am Ela, the artist and producer of the Maniacs, that's a comic series, the link is in the description. And some people ask me to show how I draw blood, because my comics uh, kind of have a lot of blood, so let's get started. First of all, I always use my iPad for everything. Let's start. And I draw usually in Procreate. I have already did something for you. First of all, I'm German, so please bear with my English. It's not the best. It's not my mother language, but I prepared something for you. I did a portrait and as you can see no blood at all because that's what we do today together. First of all I grab a new layer and beside the visual there is a little sign and you can choose the layer option and I always use multiple. And then you can use brushes from Procreate itself, you don't need to buy something, that's really nice. I always use the um, artistic ones and the... I have no clue what is in English, but who cares. And I use a really bright red and put out the pen brush and opacity a little bit down just to test how big it is. And that looks already kind of nice. The good thing about that brush it looks a little bit like a skin that got scratched when you do it lightly and that's what we want. It makes a little bit blobs here and there. Normally Charlotte is not the one that is bloody but I thought I cannot always draw the guys bloody. We also need some bloody girls over here. Probably she had some fun with the blood bomb and you just put it everywhere where you want to have some blood I like to put it on my fingertips just looks like it's run down like that so. and if you're happy with that you choose the second brush and that's the one from calligraphy and the water pencil it's called water pencil in German I don't know if it's a water pencil in the English version of Procreate, it's, I don't know, you will find out. But that's a really nice brush because it's reacting on pressure, making it thicker or thinner. And it has some, I don't know, some really cool texture. Like it looks like it is wet, where the water brush should supposed to be. But. So, and then I start with giving the blood a little bit more texture for that. I make it a little bit smaller and I just start to make these typical lines that you get when blood is running some somewhere. Just making really nice lines where the here is a little insect on the desk. Go away. Just always keep in mind where the shadow and where the lights of the picture itself is, because in my case the light is sitting from the left. So we always have the shadows on the right. That's important so that the highlights don't look weird after whoops. Because we also had highlights. What would a picture be without, without highlights? Now you can also put some more blobs everywhere, like it's sprinkled all over her face. For that, I usually don't use the spray, I use the water brush because this one, no, I mean this one, <laughs> with LEDs blobs, is really nice. It is kind of not too much. Exactly 
perfect. I don't know. It, I think it looks really good. It's how to get hungry. Seriously hungry. <laughs> I didn't have breakfast. <laughs> yeah. Okay. For the highlights, you have to choose a new layer because you already have chosen an option on the layer for the blood. And for the highlights, you just use the normal option. And you can just use the same brush you used for almost everything, the water pencil brush. But now we want highlights, so we go to the white. And we start adding highlights. So, and that's it, guys. I choose a really easy option to draw blood really easy it is yeah you can choose how realistic you want to do it for this it's not a realistic portrait at all so i don't need to spend hours in shading and looking at the light is right or stuff like that it's just a fun exercise over here so if you want to make it more realistic you can spend way more time on that I see if I can find something. You can spend one more time on it. And where's the portrait? Here. So here I spent way more time on it and it looks a little bit more realistic because I was shading way more. I spent hours on planning where the blobs went and stuff like that. So you choose by yourself if, how much detail you want to put in it, but it's exactly the same method of drawing blood. So um, that's it. I hope I was a little bit helpful at all. <laughs> and um, yeah, have fun drawing blood. I would really love to see when you try it out and what you create. So if you want, you can tag me if you share it on Instagram. I would love to see what you create. Um, yeah. I would say happy slashing and until the next time. Goodbye.